Redditors of southern states with porn restrictions, how has this impacted people's ability to browse porn? Is there backlash? The day they blocked my IP address was the day I finally got a VPN. The end. If there's anyone that can get around a porn firewall, it's a 14-year-old boy. The ban won't do anything. Can't they just use a VPN? No effect at all, and I have not submitted any ID either. This is performative political BS to say they are protecting the children while saying we are lucky, because the slaughter in Uvalde could have been worse. Let parents police their children's internet habits, and the government do something about them being murdered in school. Iminva. Can't go to major porn sites. But stuff hosted outside the US doesn't care or comply, so I just go to different sites now. I really wish so many in VA hadn't fallen for Youngkin's obvious bullshit. But rural Virginians continue to be mad at Dems because the radio and TV tells them to be. Why are these things happening exactly? Anyone TLDR? Is it every site or just PH? What about adult-themed games? Are they banned? I wonder where the lines are with all of this and how arbitrary the rules are. Is there backlash? I'd but people are grumpier than usual. Meh, VPN FTW. Literally took less than 10 seconds to get around it here in Texas. Sincerely, a porn enjoyer. No one outside of Reddit gives a shit tbh it's just Pornhub the others are fine in North Carolina for reference. It's Reddit and people on Reddit cannot wait to tell you about using a VPN dot. Wait what? This is a thing? Brother sister porn must be taking a beating. I live in Texas I have Starlink my IP is based in Colorado. It was purely theatrics, nothing really in force. VPN most of my friends already had VPNs so no problem there, also lots of site don't follow the law because they are sechi and have tons of stolen content. I have not used Pornhub in years. There are way better sites than them. With Pornhub blocked it's only harder because I'm looking for reputable sites with some form of restriction on content and vetting. There's lots of sites out there that are suspicious as hell. Where I live, I, uh, know people who get blocked by Louisiana's restrictions even though we are hundreds of miles from Louisiana and have never lived there before. I can only imagine how annoying it would be to be asked to provide identification to a state you don't live in or be subjected to its rules. For the average user, it won't do much, at first glance, the erosion of individual freedoms is real though. For providers and performers, it will be a pain in the ass, as websites like Gumroad and payment processors are being more stingy every day.